Good afternoon, everybody in San Francisco. My name is Shaylon Smith, and you have tuned into You Flying Live. If you guys are new to our show, we air every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Channel 76 right here out of San Francisco. And today we have our guest from um, two weeks ago, Chris. Say what's up, Chris. What's up with it? How you doing? Coming to you from live. <laughs> I have a feeling that we're going to see Chris a lot during, uh, during these live streams, but we don't have a problem with that because he has a lot to say and a lot of knowledge to share. And I was just telling him I want to actually get into his head one day because his, <laughs> what, his thoughts and his ambitions up there are very interesting to me. There's that. So besides me just rambling about random stuff that's going on, uh, today's show is going to be one um, that we have done before, but I feel like it's a good thing to always reflect and to do it again. Today's show is going to be about... Um, What's on your bucket list and bucket what, list. what's on there? What do you want to have on there? Um, and to explain what a bucket list is, it's basically things that you want to do before you kick the bucket or pass on to the other side or push daisies or whatever you want to call it. Things to do before you're no longer here on this earth, right? right. Um, and so a lot of people have different things on their list. Some things very politically correct and some things that are not <laughs> politically correct. Um, either way it goes, that's something that you want to do and there's no right or wrong answer. Um, for this show, we will keep it PG-13, or PG, actually, and um, we'll talk about it. Um, today, I will ask Chris a few questions about what could be on his bucket list and a few things of why he put it on there, et cetera, et cetera, and I'm going to also give my input, too, so stay tuned for that right now. So, um, Chris, if you were to die tomorrow, what, uh, what, I can't speak English, what would you wish that you could do before you die, like, if you knew that you were going to die at midnight? Uh, oh, if I knew tomorrow I could die at midnight, yeah. tomorrow at midnight, yeah. damn, um, I would go around everywhere and apologize. And apologize? Yeah, I would go out around everywhere and apologize and let them know I'm going to be gone tomorrow at midnight, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So accept my apology and let's just move on, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nah, I just think. Um, so you just write your wrongs? Basically. Yeah, I write my wrongs. Um, I'll also I'll eat as much food as I can because I have a feeling that I'm not going to be doing much eating up there right. or down there. Nah, just... <laughs> <laughs> or down there, whichever one you go to. Uh, nah. um, so, yeah, I'll do that. Um, I'll probably get another tattoo. Um, I'll um, probably learn how to for me, try to dance salsa. I'll probably right. do stuff that's out of my comfort zone. Try to do all the stuff that's out of my comfort zone, um, public speaking, right. um, anything that I could do that would be quick. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Something exciting, so I could just laugh about it while I'm dying <laughs> at midnight. Right. I, I feel like that's a, a great answer. And Chris actually is going to do salsa dancing. That's something I, I have a feeling that would, is that has that been something that you always want to do with learning yeah, salsa um, I, I've been ridiculed a lot growing up because uh, they say I have two left legs. <laughs> And I was just, I was like, uh, 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 you know, I have no rhythm, but um, uh -huh. I feel like uh, taking classes, you know, um, education and preparation leads to successful situations. So when that happens, uh, yeah, I'm all in, you know, um, I'm thankful for the community that allows me to um, take advantage of certain opportunities without me having to come out of pocket, you know what I'm saying? All right. Right, because I got here and Chris was just in the middle of having a conversation about that. And I was like, huh, what's going on? Five-time world champion going to teach me how to dance. Right, and that's lit. And that's something that, that's the I was like, caught my left. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> You're right, right. I'm always up to like, something. All type of stuff, huh? Always positivity, though. Always positivity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never nothing to bring Well, yeah, we're going to keep there. Anyways, so, <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like, you know, a lot of people, what they would tell me about that one, they would be like, oh, I would want to try every drug before I die. Nah, I, nah, I don't man. think that's a goal. <laughs> I'm like, nah, nah, that's not a goal, man. <laughs> right. So your answer was kind of like inspiring to me. You know what I'm saying? Sure. The second question is, what would you do if you had unlimited time, money, and resources? And, um, and that doesn't mean if you die tomorrow. That's just like if you had unlimited time, money, and resources, what would you do? Man, okay. So first, I'm going to start off with the time, you know. I live my life so freaking busy because I feel time always working against me. <laughs> so mm -hmm. if I had unlimited time and unlimited amount of money, mm -hmm. I would do so much to make sure... To, to make sure I'm okay, my family's okay, and also 
give back to all the people that done helped me, you know what I'm saying? And also, like, probably saw, like, you know, a youth, a youth thing, because I do believe that um, it's important to to get them all the young, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, you know, to, 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 um, to incentivize, you know, people to do good, you know what I'm saying? To reward the people that are doing good in school, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel that, um, that, 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 if I, if I were in that predicament, I, I would do a lot of good, you know what I'm saying? And of course, I would go have fun, you know what I'm saying? Oh, <laughs> I'd go to the club, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'll have a nice car, because uh-huh. I, I believe in, um, in, 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 um, what do you call that when you, uh, when you do it for yourself, you know what I'm talking about? Self-care, self-care. No, no, no. Uh, like, we spoil yourself. You feel me? I believe in that. Like, you know? I treat yourself. Treat myself. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Self-care, like, you know? self-love. That's what it yeah, is. Yeah, self-care, self-love. I'll do all that stuff. Like, you know? You know, like, do all the stuff. And, 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 and I'll support. I'll never spend my money on a corporation. Oh, yeah. I'll support every independent company around me. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. those people are inspiring it to be entrepreneurs. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, if I had unlimited time, and, and I'll do that, you know what I'm saying? And um, I'll travel the world. I'll travel the world and try to make myself, instead of a city guy, I'll be a nationwide into a worldwide. You know what I'm saying? That. I'll be crazy, exactly. man. This is, I, it's limitless when it comes to unlimited time and money, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, man. Exactly, and I always tell people too that you don't always want to become a product of your environment. Man, you know, you don't want to be trapped in that neighborhood. You want to be trapped in the city. You want to be proud of. Exactly, and so you want to kind of expand your horizons. Yeah. I guess what you can say. Um, and that leads me to the next question: Is what have you always wanted to do, but not have, but you have not done yet? And that's a big question to answer on the spot. Um, it's like something that you always wanted to do, which you have not done yet, besides the salsa. And you could always still travel, you know, because that's the thing that happens here. Something I always wanted to do and I haven't done yet is probably start a family. There you, go. Yeah. you know, something like that. Uh, I, I, I believe in that stuff. You feel me? I'm cheesy like that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I would You're love, never stop like that. <laughs> I would love to have like a wife. Mm-hmm. And like, you ever seen a Brady Bunch? Something that's like gonna that. Be you. And that's gonna be me, like you know, with the curly hair, talking about, hey, Sandy, how y'all doing? <laughs> how y'all doing? You know, back to the table, like man, that's that's something um, that I that I hope I'm gonna be able to do. Right. You know, hopefully nothing happens to me or I'm gonna be cursed, you know, by Cupid or something. <laughs> I mean, cursed by Cupid. Right? Yeah, cursed like you get know, black like, ball by Cupid. Yeah, get black ball <laughs> or something like that. You know, like I, I feel like. Um, I've always wanted to, yeah, I'm, I'm big on family and I feel like I could be a good influence and leader to my family. I just, I, I'm, I'm just working on myself first. Lately I've been, um, I've been uh, selfish. Uh, yeah. That's a whole other thing. You, <laughs> you, you, you'll grow out of that. Yeah, you, I'll grow out of know. it, hopefully, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just to have those dreams and ambitions and those goals see that you actually have a heart out here because some people um, they don't have that <laughs> out here they don't have that and just to just be wholehearted like that is, is the first step you know and so that's that's the first step to think about is like like you know I actually have to go and I actually have the willingness to do it and I have the heart to do it you know being able to put somebody else you know in, in perspective in your life is something that you gotta do you know working on yourself is a thing you know that you always have to do I always tell people you know, we're always working on ourselves until we're in the casket. Until then, well, we never have our life together. And even when we're in the casket, when our life is over, who's going to bury us? So, you know, right, right, right. and then it's all—it's a never-ending circle to the whole thing. Um, and speaking on the point that you say you want to travel to um, some pl- some places in the world, what are some countries, some places, or locations that you want to travel before you pass away? Um, you all Central America. Right. All South America, right. I'm coming your way. All right, now nah, I'm just saying, what, yeah. Oh, you said all of it. I was gonna say, what are some no, specific everything places? down. Oh, yeah, everything, every single country. I'll stop by and I'll leave my mark on it. Um, that's honestly, I can say everywhere, but like uh, realistically, I'm thinking I'm gonna just work my way down from the United States. I'll probably just double back and hit Canada real quick, you know, to like vacation. 
bitch. So yeah, um, I like to go. Um, I like to embrace my culture, where my people come from, the indigenous roots, and try to dig in deep. You know what I'm saying? Because I believe that's why indigenous roots are in America. You know what I'm saying? South America, Central America, North America. But um, I would like to think of the other side of the border aspect. Right. Right. I'm trying to figure out the words there about that because I was thinking about the word indigenous. I don't know how that. <laughs> yeah. I was going to ask you, like, what, what, do you, what ethnicity do you identify with? Exactly. Uh, or do you not identify with any ethnicity? Uh, I, I identify with, um, like, um, with the indigenous ethnicity. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm into sweats, I'm into spirits. I'm into uh, the water, I'm into the air. I feel like that's um, one of the most uh, liberating things I ever did in my life was to go to a sweat and listen to uh, my elder talk about um, how all the, like, you know, just to, to, to be so pure and, and talk about, not focus on things beyond me, mm -hmm. not focusing about things that's on me, but, but to what's around me, you get what I'm saying? And being grateful for those things. So that's why I feel like I, I, I identify as an indigenous, maybe Indian, you know what I'm saying? Because, um, you know, it doesn't matter what I am, you know, it matters what was before me, you know what I'm saying? That let me be to where I am today, you feel me? So that's 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 what I uh, identify with. Hey, maybe, I don't know if that makes sense, but... Uh, no, it did. You know, you identify with your ancestors. You my ancestors. Okay, perfect. <laughs> It makes sense. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and, you know, I, I felt that when I was like, okay. I, I think I, I process everything that, you know, you're saying. I was like, that ah, is so deep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to go there, and that's I was so real. But I'm Salvadorian. I love my Salvadorian <laughs> people. <laughs> See, I was, there you go. I, mean, I, was like, I was like, what? I was like, he went deep, and then he went shallow again. <laughs> no, I'm Salvadorian for sure, though, 100%. And I say, I love my people, but. Um, Identify as a strong word, you know what I'm saying? Right, I represent exactly. El Salvador, you know what I'm saying? That's what I do because, um, yeah, my, my people are struggling. But identify as my identity, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of things that make me You know, there's such a question to section out. Um, and this is another deep question that we should be able to go into. Uh, what, do, what do you want to see in other people? Like what traits and stuff do you want to see more in other people? Because for me personally, I want to see more compassion, more love, more um, kindness, more consideration, and more empathy in other people. You know, because I feel like that's missing, especially in today's America. See, I'm a little more harsh, you feel me? Uh, mm -hmm. What I would like to see in people is responsibility, right. dependability, uh, motivation, dedication, no, because you know those those four main concepts that I brought up is always going to improve the situation. Um, because I, um, you know, <clears throat> I believe in um, having the courage to 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 follow your dream is 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 one of the most beautifulest things about the human being. You know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, that's what I would like to see more in people because I feel like uh, it's, a, it's, it's a lack of it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, um, well, you know what? I'm going to take that back. I don't feel like it's a lack of it. I, from my community, there's a lack of it. Right. And it makes uh, it makes the people that want to do better for themselves look as the like the outsider when, when it's really not like that, you know what I'm saying? But from, from my community, that's what I would like to see, dependability, responsibility, right. and um, you know, also, um, what do you call that, when you take responsibility for something? Oh, you take accountability. Accountability, ownership. for sure, ownership, like, you know, like, you know, I like lost you know, that says for yourself. Right. And you seem like you are that type of person. I know, well, I know that you are. I that try person. to be. I try to be. Yeah, if that takes responsibility. And plus, I, was, I, was, I have my own biases in my head, meaning that I have my own like, things that I think about. I'm like, yo, man, can I say <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, Virgo. probably. Hey, not for real. For real. Everybody's been telling me that. You know, You're I'm a Virgo. Virgo. I'm a Virgo. <laughs> uh, uh, for me, uh, 
You like to yeah. do acts of service and stuff like that. You like to take action. You like to like, yep. you know, actually like be about your stuff and actually do it and kind of be very precise about it, you know? Right, right. And so the next question I want to ask is, um, what moments do you want to experience before you pass away? Like you said, you want to have a family. Do you want to get married? Do you want to see someone else get married? What moments? Yeah, what moments do you uh, want to see? Before? First of all, I was making my parents happy. Right. That's that's one moment that uh, I've been waiting to see for a long time, you know. Because when I was younger, I I, I put myself in uh, messy situations and I didn't do nothing for pain and suffering. But um, what is most important to me is right now, and at this point in my life, that I can ever think of is um, is making my parents happy and, um, and anybody who would have tried to help me grow as a person and make them proud and say, hey, like, you know, and I, and I give everybody credit when it's doing, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, um, I'm not, I'm not going to be like, oh, no, like, you know, like, like, you told me, you gave me a quarter when I was down, you know what I'm saying? Like, thank you, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to work to make you happy to make sure that your investment in that quarter was worth it, you know what I'm saying? So, that's, that, that's what I want. That's a good moment I want to do. But after I do that, I would love to, like, have a family. Like, you know when they say, like, when you hold the baby and you look at it, like, that's real love right there? Mm-hmm. I want to have that moment, you know what I'm saying? Like, the, <gasps> like, the, like you ever seen a movie that's where, yeah, like, you yeah. know, you breathe in the soul, the, you know what I'm talking about? Like, yeah. Hope. oh, like, yeah, I would like to have that. Um, and then another moment I would like to uh, have is peace. Me too. Explain, elaborate on that, please. Please speak on that. I want, I want to hear all of that. Please validate me real quick. Nah, nah, nah. Like, like peace. Like, like where I feel that I have done it all, and that I'm at peace with myself and my life. Oh, okay, so you want to be like fulfilled and like with your life. You want to yeah. like your life is fulfilled. Fulfilled. You know, and um, everything around me is peaceful. There's no more drama. You feel me? I'm not in a rush. <laughs> Everything's smooth. You feel me? I'm good. Yeah. Especially this freaking lately we've been in finals and I've been like yeah. working my butt off. It's and the I've season. been in a rush. It's the season, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a season. It's cuffing season. It's rushing season. <laughs> it's the holiday season. It's working yeah, season. Yeah. It's seasonal pay yeah. season. It's final season. Damn. It's death season. Yeah, death season for so sickness season. Season, season, you know I mean? flu yeah. season. Uh, it's all the two season. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> w two. No, for real. It's W two season. Taxes getting gotta get ready for tax. You know I mean? oh, all type that. of stuff, man. It's a new year. It's about to be a new year. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, it's, it's crazy. I feel like there's a big news for it. At least in front of this. Yeah, irrational decisions. Talk about new year, new me. I slow down. I was saying. I just feel like, you know, you shouldn't have to wait for the new year to change. It should change now, even though we, we're almost there. But, you know, you should be able to want to, like, make some steps. Not because it's new year change, even though if it feels good to you to do it that way, then you feel like, I feel like more so. And it's my personal opinion, right? But, yeah, yeah. I just feel like you should be able to do so because you want to make that change. If you want to diet, make the, the change because you actually want to get fit. Not because, oh, it's a new year and I feel like I have to do something, you know, check off my bucket list. So. Whatever the case may be, you know, do it because you really want to do it, not because you feel compelled or you feel like society wants you to do it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's deep. Yeah. Mm. Don't ever do something because you feel like, you know, like, oh, like, I feel like that I have to be in a relationship because everybody else is, and you probably don't want to Whatever, you don't have to rush into that. And that's a whole nother story I can talk about. Man. You know, that's going to be a whole nother story. I want you on that show, too. I want you on that show, too. Okay? Yeah, for sure. Um, but that's another one. And the last question that, um, I want to ask you, because you actually answered, like, you know how people just answer questions and, like, that you said so, so le- little, right? But you said so much in so little time. Right, right, right. So all the questions that I have on my list is just check, 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 check. Uh-huh. So I'll just so, check so, off. Yeah. The last question that I probably want to ask you on your list is, what do you need to uh, to do to lead a greater life, live a great life with great meaning? And that's a big question because that's a deep one. Like, so what do, what steps do you think you need to do in life besides, um, you know, doing stuff for your parents, besides mm-hmm. doing stuff for other people around you? What about you? What do you need to live a fulfilling life and to be great? Um, to leave. Honestly, I feel that uh, 
I need to get out of this environment, right. you know, because this environment could either be so good or so bad. Like the, um, mm. so, I mean, cut, but, you know, accountability for me, like there's certain decisions that I've been made that made my, my life this way, but I feel like if I could do what I'm doing now, like as much as it'll make me happy to do it here at home, I, I, I should, I would be better off doing it with, with, you know, as a fresh start where no one knows me, where I don't feel that I owe anybody or nobody feels that they, that they, they owe me, you know what I'm saying? So that's, 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 um, repeat the question, so you restate it. So to restate it, um, and we only have a certain amount of time for you to answer it, and I apologize for that. Yeah, yeah. But basically, what do you need, you, not anybody else, but what you need to live a fulfilled life? Yeah, I need to leave. I need to leave. <laughs> and I feel that, because sometimes I feel like I just want to just get up and start it. I do like, I'm going to farm somewhere, like, to make it to the all of them. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, just to live a uh, fulfilling life, because sometimes you just need to have a fresh start. And what that San Francisco is. <laughs> One minute you're chilling, the next minute you end up somewhere you're like, huh? <laughs> that's how San, that's how some city is. Like one mm. minute you're chilling, like you're like I'm peaceful. The next minute you have like this party or this rave or like something. you're somewhere crazy or like you end up doing some type of something you're not proud of or something. Right, you're like, right. how did I end up here? And you probably have the moments like, how did I end up here? Or like, yeah. you're like, well, how did we end up doing this? When did we come to this conclusion? But that's all the time we have for today, show, right. sadly. Um, I just want to say that if you guys have any dreams, ambitions, or anything to put on your bucket list before you pass away, or anything that you want to do for your community, please do so now. Don't wait for the end of the year to happen, and do so because you want to do so, not because you were pressured to do so. My name is Trayvon Smith, and thank you for tuning in to Fly Live. We'll see you next week. Bye. Do it now.